Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Arahakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there pushing this word and to you sincere listeners. Just want to go into a quick lesson and we're just going to jump straight into it. This is Romans 13 and 11. It says in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And the nation of Israel will be delivered in these last days. Okay. Delivered from the hands of our enemies. You know, and ultimately uh, delivered from this current situation that we find ourselves in. You know, us being in these bodies. You know. Well, that's the main, you know, uh, deliverance that's going to take place. Okay. Because even if we did get delivered from you know babylon the great and our bodies were not changed we would eventually end up back in the same predicament okay so the most high is going to make it to where we can never enter into a predicament like this again you know the greatest salvation is getting ready to take place down here upon the earth and it's only for the nation of israel okay this is luke 21 and 28 it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, what are those things that he's referring to? The prophecies unfolding, you know, the sedition amongst men, the earthquakes in diverse places, fires taking place all throughout the earth, you know, uh, 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 very strong natural disasters, you know, the economic collapse, Esau, Edom coming down with that uh, tyrannical rule. These are all prophesied in the scriptures. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth not. Yeah, we're getting ready to get delivered, man. Okay. Even though, you know, we're getting ready to go through a real, you know, uh, uh, terrible situation. You know, as the scriptures say, you know, uh, we're not going to enter into the kingdom unless we go through that uh, tribulation, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. Although we're getting ready to enter into these times, this just means that our salvation is that much closer, man. And the Most High is going to deliver the nation of Israel, okay? Beginning with the elect. The Most High is not going to leave all Israel down here to be destroyed by this damn devil, okay? The Most High is not going to leave the nation of Israel down here to enter into the New World Order and be uh, subject to Esau, Edom perpetually, man. The Most High has a kingdom prepared for his elect, and he's going to establish that down here upon the earth. So regardless of what this damn devil does, those prophecies have to be fulfilled. The nation of Israel has to rule down here upon the earth. Esau, Edom has to be taken down. Okay, which means what? We are going to be delivered, man. The Most High is going to save his people. Guaranteed. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The Most High has spoken, so he's going to execute it. This is Psalms 50 and 22. It says, now consider this. Ye that forget the most high Least I tear you in pieces And there be none to deliver And this is what's going to happen to The unbelieving of our nation The most high is going to destroy them Okay It says now consider this Ye that forget the most high Least I tear you in pieces And there be none to deliver Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me And that's what we're doing We're praising Yahweh Okay and we open up our videos, what do we say? We say all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And our day to day, we're praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And these are the type of Israelites that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is looking for, man. And praise isn't just something that you say with your lips, okay? Just because you say, you know, uh, uh, praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that doesn't mean you're glorifying or praising the Heavenly Father, man. Your actions also have to match up with the words that come out of your mouth, man. If you're praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that means you're living according to the standard that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai laid down. Okay? You're not doing the things that displease him, which is also you praising the Heavenly Father. You got some guys out there that think just because they Israelites and you praising the Most High, man. Nah, it's a, it's a lifestyle. Okay? It says, Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me. And to him that ordered his conversation aright, okay, and what is conversation? Your conduct, okay, which proves that it ain't just you saying things out of your mouth, man. I'll give praise to the Lord. I'll give praise to the Most High and His Son. 
You know, all praise to the most high. The most high don't care about that, man. You can say whatever you want out your mouth. Okay. Does your conduct match, you know, uh, uh, the praise that you've given to the heavenly father? Because if you're praising the most high, you know, you're blessing the heavenly father. That means you also fear him. All right. Which means what? If you disobey the heavenly father, then judgment is going to come down upon you. Okay, so if you're truly glorifying and praising Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you would also fear the retribution that will come from uh, disobeying Him. Okay, so part of praising the Heavenly Father is you conducting yourself properly, man. It says, "Whoso offereth praise glorifieth Me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright, okay, your conduct, okay." Will I show the salvation of the Most High? So those are the individuals that are going to be delivered, man. The ones that are living their lives according to the standard that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai laid down here, man. Okay. Everybody else is going to be destroyed, just like we read. Okay, they're going to get cut up in pieces, man. The Most High is only going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, and we're in, you know, the best position, you know, to receive that, man. Because what are we doing? We're praising Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're ordering our conversation right, man. We ain't walking according to the rule that these niggas in the world is walking according to, man. Okay, we've cast that off. We've forsaken that. All right? To reattach ourselves unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in the hopes that we can be delivered. As I stated earlier, the Most High is going to deliver the nation of Israel. Okay, there are going to be individuals that are going to be delivered and saved from all these things that are coming down here, man. Okay, so what we're doing, okay, is basically, you know, uh, we're moving ourselves to the front of the line. Okay, there's certain things you could do to expedite this process of you being delivered, you receiving salvation and entering into the kingdom. And us doing what the Most High told us to do is expediting our applications, you know. This is Psalms 101. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all ye lands. Serve the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, he is power. It is he that hath made us. Okay? The Heavenly Father created the nation of Israel. Okay? And what is the purpose of the nation of Israel? To, uh, you know, be the memorial of Yahweh Shai down here upon the earth to be that that monument, man. We are a reminder to these other nations that there is a creator, okay. And there's a certain way that the creator wants you to live. That's our purpose, man. Okay, we have that special connection to Yahweh Yahweh Shai, okay. And without the Heavenly Father, without us serving that purpose, we're nothing. Which is the reason why we're in the predicament that we're in right now, man. Okay? Us not fulfilling our purpose, we end up in this situation. Completely through. Dead. You know? But life comes with serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and fulfilling our purpose. It says, Know ye that the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he is power. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. Yeah, we're not down here to do our own thing, man. Okay? What's the reason why we're in this predicament is to teach us that lesson, man. We're not down here to do our own will. Okay, if we don't, if we want to go astray and do our own thing, then this is where we're going to lead up or end up. Okay, in slavery under these other nations, catching pure hell, man. Being separated from Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, living a miserable existence. It says, it is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving And into his courts with praise Be thankful unto him and bless his name And what's the name? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Okay, and we're going to bless those names When we enter into the kingdom, man Even more so Okay, because we're going to see the salvation That Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Is going to wrought amongst the nation of Israel It says for the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is good His mercy is everlasting And we're hoping to receive some of that mercy from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's why we're doing, you know, uh, uh, the best that we can in adhering to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, For the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is good. His mercy is everlasting. All right. 
The Most High's mercy never runs out when it comes to the nation of Israel, man. So we're trying to get some of that. Okay. It says, for his truth endureth to all generations. All right. Which says going into the covenant that he made between uh, himself and our forefathers. All right. So we can always tap into that, man. But for you to be able to tap into that promise that the Most High made between himself and our forefathers, we have to do the right thing. We have to come to the Heavenly Father with a contrite heart, man. You got to be repentant, you know? You got to be sorrowful for the wickedness that we've committed, man. You know? And then come to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah in, in the proper order. You know, change your life around, man. Start doing the things that please him and leave off the things that displease him. This is Psalms 98 and 1. It says, O sing unto the Lord, Yahabashim Yahawashah, a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory, which this is going into when the nation of Israel gets delivered. Okay, who's the right hand of the Heavenly Father? Yahawashah. Okay. He's going to do marvelous things through his son. His son is going to come down here and, and he's going to regulate, man. Okay, all these nations that have kingdoms set up, Yahweh is going to throw them down, him and the angels. And they're going to set up his kingdom down here upon the earth. It says, O sing unto the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory, because Yahweh is the one that's going to come down here and wreck shop. The Lord, Yahweh Yahweh hath made known his salvation. How is he going to make it known when he actually delivers? The nation of Israel and gives to them the kingdom. It says the Lord Yahabashim Yahushai hath made his sal hath made known his salvation. His righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. And what's the righteousness of the Heavenly Father? He does not retain his anger forever. Okay, if you turn back to the Heavenly Father as he stated, he will return back to you and start supper with you, man, and grant you mercy. Okay, and he's getting ready to show the entire world, all these other nations, his mercy, man. So let's get a quick precept on that. Just to further prove the point. This is Micah 7, and I'll start at 16. Well, you know what? Uh, let me start at 15. Micah 7 and 15, it says, According to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt, will I show unto him marvelous things. The nation shall see and be confounded at all their might. Why? Because the Most High is getting ready to reveal himself again, just as he did in the ancient time, man. These other nations are getting ready to get real, well acquainted with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Just as the Egyptians got well acquainted with Yahweh back in the ancient time, man. They're getting ready to see all his power and experience his fury and his wrath, man. It says, according to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt, will I show unto him marvelous things. The nations shall see and be confounded at all their might, because these other nations are not going to be able to do anything to stop what's coming down here to the earth, man. They're not going to be able to do anything against Yahabashim Yahushua, because he's the only power, man. Okay? All these other gods, they're idols. They don't exist, man. The Heavenly Father is the only living power. And these other nations are getting ready to experience that, man. Just as Pharaoh and the Egyptians experienced it. It says, they shall lay their hand upon their mouth. Their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahweh our power, and shall fear because of thee. Who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity? And these other nations are going to see this, man. Okay, so they're going to see so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans being delivered from the destruction of Babylon the Great, man. Okay, and they're going to take note in their mind that these are the people of the Heavenly Father. The Most High did not cast these people away. Okay, even though they've been, you know, trodden down and brought down to the lowest position, the Most High still had mercy on them, man. They committed all kind of wickedness. You know, the Babylonians took them down, the Greeks took them down, the Romans took them down. They got kicked out of their land. And now their God is going to bring them back. Okay, now he's saving them from the destruction of Babylon the Great and establishing their kingdom again down here upon the earth. These nations are going to bug out, man. It says, who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity? Because the gods that these other nations worship 
they would never do what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is getting ready to do for the nation of Israel, man. Their gods would not have mercy upon them. Okay? Especially, you know, forgive the things that uh we've done, man. Okay, these other nations have never transgressed against their power to the extent that the nation of Israel has transgressed, man. Okay? If these other nations did what the nation of Israel did concerning the gods that they worship, they'd be through for life, man. They would never be able to get back into the good graces of their power. Okay, but the Most High is not like these other gods, man. He's not like these idols that these heathen worship. It says, who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever. And that's the reason why we're in this predicament, man. Okay, we pissed off the Heavenly Father. So he allowed us to be uh, uh, consumed and devoured by our enemies. Okay, but the Most High, he's not angry anymore, man. Well, he's not angry at the elect. All right, when you read in the, the New Testament, you know, those letters that Paul was writing, that the other apostles was writing, they would always say, peace be unto you, which those are the, the individuals that believe in Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, that's who the peace of the Heavenly Father belongs to, the elect of the nation of Israel. Two thirds, you're going to experience the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy. Okay, and that mercy is to the uh, elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Verse 19, it says, he will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Thou will perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. So the Most High is going to fulfill that promise that he made between himself and our forefathers, man. Which means what? The iniquity that the nation of Israel has committed has to be wiped away. The Heavenly Father has to forgive it because he's not a man and he should lie. He has to uphold that promise that he made between himself and our forefathers, man. And he's going to do exactly that. This is back in uh, Psalms 98 and 2. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Yahweh hath made known his salvation. His righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. Okay, because only the nation of Israel is going to be delivered. The Most High only has a standing covenant between himself and the nation of Israel. You other nations ain't got nothing to do with Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Okay. Which is the reason why the Most High is going to destroy you and deliver his, his people. It says he hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our power. Why? Because the nation of Israel has been dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth. Wherever the nation of Israel is, the Heavenly Father is going to grab them up. Okay, in those chariots, deliver them and set them back in the land of our forefathers. Okay, the land of Canaan. Verse 4 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord, Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm. With trumpets and sound of cornet, make a joyful noise before the Lord, Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, the king. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together before the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Hawashai, for he cometh to judge the earth. Okay. And as we read in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, it says that, you know, wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. These people down here are wicked as hell, man. So the Most High is coming back to execute righteous judgment down here upon the earth. Okay. The only people that are executing righteousness down here are the elect of the nation of Israel. And they are the ones that are going to be delivered. The Most High is going to judge accordingly. He's going to judge the righteous and he's going to judge the wicked. The righteous are going to get a pardon because they're not taking part in the wickedness that's going on down here. They've separated themselves, man. The wicked are going to be consumed. It says before the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, for he cometh to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the world and the people with equity. So the Most High is going to give righteous judgment out. The wicked are going to die. The righteous are going to be spared and delivered. Okay. 
This is chapter 99, verse 1, Psalms 99 and 1. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, reigneth. Let the people tremble. And you people down here, you're going to tremble, man. When Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai judges this earth and when he establishes the kingdom of heaven down here, man. All you nations going to tremble and bow down to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You're going to bow down to his people. And you're going to tremble in the presence of an Israelite, man. When the nation of Israel come around, you other nations going to be shook. Okay? Like when Samuel went to Bethlehem, man, and they asked him, are you coming here peaceably or are you coming here for judgment, man? They were scared. That's how you other nations going to be when a nation of Israel, when an Israelite comes to your, uh, uh, you know, your land, man. When you see an Israelite, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be scared, man. Okay? It says, the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, reigneth. Let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubims. Let the earth be moved. Okay? It said the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's strength also loveth judgment. Thou dost establish equity, thou executest judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Okay. Verse 5, it says, Exalt ye the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, our power and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. And the footstool of the Heavenly Father is the earth. So we're going to worship and praise Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai down here upon the earth. While you other nations worship and praise us, man. It says Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among them that call upon his name. They called upon the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and he answered them. And that's encouragement to you uh, followers of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai out there, man. Okay. If, when we call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he is going to hearken unto us, man. Okay? Because we're doing the things that please him. All right? We trust in him, man. So why wouldn't he listen to us and hearken unto our cries and come and deliver us out of trouble, man? These wicked ass jakes, they're going to try to call on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the Most High going to ignore them. Because they ain't got the extension. You know? They got the number, but they, they ain't got the direct extension of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. They don't know who they calling on It says Moses and Aaron among his priests And Samuel among them that, that call upon his name They called upon the Lord Yahweh And he answered them He spake unto them in the cloudy pillar Those chariots Which those are going to be the vehicles That are going to deliver the nation of Israel It says he spake unto them in the cloudy pillar They kept his testimonies And the ordinance that he gave them Thou answered them, O Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, our power. Thou wast a God that forgavest them, though thou tookest vengeance on their inventions, or of their inventions. Exalt the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, our power, and worship at his holy hill. For the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, our power, is holy. Okay? And the Most High is going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Because we reverence Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, willing we're part of that number okay but we're in the time man all right even though all hell is getting ready to break loose salvation is still slated for the elect of the nation of israel okay this ain't gonna be no no dead end you know esau edom gonna come down with that great wrath he's just gonna take over the earth and the most high ain't gonna do nothing about it the most high is getting ready to intervene in a major way okay and deliver his servants that worship him down here upon the earth Okay, because the Most High has a purpose for those individuals. These individuals are going to play a major role in the new kingdom that the Most High is going to establish down here upon the earth, man. So why would he let them be destroyed? Why would he let these individuals be exterminated when we are of great use to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Okay, we're going to further his way down here upon the earth. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, the prophecies, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, and those are the times that we're in. Okay? Even though this damn devil's going to come down with that wrath, you know, in his mind, he thinks he's going to establish this uh, satanic kingdom down here upon the earth. Yahweh Shumi Yahweh Shai is getting ready to visit this place, man. The Most High is getting ready to reveal to the entire world who he is. Okay? And he's getting ready to reveal to the entire earth his power. 
He's getting ready to show all these people down here why he's supposed to be reverenced, man. Okay? Why they called him in the ancient time Alishadia, man. These people getting ready to find out. Okay, see, we already know these things, man, because we read the scriptures and we, uh, uh, you know, we know the accounts. All right? We know the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, how the Most High opened up the earth and swallowed over uh, 20,000 people, man. We know about the flood that the heavenly father caused to compass the whole earth and everybody died except for those eight souls man we know about these things okay we know about the judgment that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai brought down upon Sodom and Gomorrah okay so we don't we don't need a lesson man these other people need a lesson they need to know who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is they need to know why you're supposed to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai it says, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen up earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's going on now. Okay? You got a lot of people protesting these uh, uh, passports that's being established, man. They, they are not with this uh, tyrannical rule that's being established down here, which that's all a part of prophecy. It says, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So everything is going according to the plans of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So there's no reason to fret, man. You know, which when you look that word fret up, it basically means to be agitated to the, the point of overthrow. You know, so you're getting all dismayed, like, oh man, you know, this nigga's still winning. You know, ain't nobody stopping this damn devil. You know, ain't go, ooh, I might as well just bow down to it. Nah, don't don't get that mindset, man. Okay. Pro, because regardless of you know what it seems like, all right, what uh, uh you know this damn devil is doing, it might seem like he's doing these things unhindered. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is still at the helm. He's been directed and controlling everything that's been taking place down here upon the earth, man. His prophecies is the thing that's the most important. Okay, that's what's gonna stand down here, man. That's what matters. Forget what this nigga got planned. You know, oh, he's gonna be ruling in, in 2100. Nigga gonna be on Mars. That ain't the plans of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? It's the will of the Heavenly Father that the kingdom of heaven be, is established down here upon the earth, man. And that kingdom is gonna be ruled by his son Yahweh Shai and the Israelites. All right? We can bank on that, man. It says, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So even before we was born down here, man, this was already in the mind of the Heavenly Father to destroy this damn devil in the last days and establish the kingdom of heaven, man, and deliver his people, the nation of Israel, okay, from Babylon the Great and from the four corners where he scattered them. That's the will of the Heavenly Father, man, so it's going to happen. It says, for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And that word manifest means to be made apparent. And it's apparent that the Most High is getting ready to deliver the nation of Israel. Okay? Because you see the Israelites waxing stronger and stronger, man. As each day passes by, we come into more order with our power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And this truth keeps expanding and spreading. Regardless of the feeble attempts of Esau, Edom. All right, which has gotten to the point to where now he's just going to have to come down with that sword. He's going to have to use his last blessing. The only thing he has left that sword to try to stop this from happening, man, to try to hinder the prophecies. And it's not going to work. OK. <clears throat> it says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. The most high is getting ready to work a major work down here, man. Okay, because it seems like we're backed into a corner. You know, he's rolling out these uh, passports. You know, Jake Jake ain't with it. Jake's getting ready to be ostracized from society. You know, it seems like we're going to be easy pickings for Esau. You know, whatever he wants to do to us, he's going to be able to do it. But the Most High is going to intervene, man. Okay. And the Most High is going to show his power. Okay. In intervening. It just seems like we're done, man. We ain't, we ain't got no hope. You know, as, as a people, you see Jake, Jake out here through, man. Okay, the only thing Jake got is a, is a fucking crate challenge, man. That, that's what, that's what, that's Jake's aspirations. You know, and you see the moves that this damn devil's making. 
you would think that Jake, our people are through. You know, they ain't never going to rise up. They ain't never going to be able to overcome the trap that this damn devil has set for him. But the Most High is going to make a way for his elect to escape. And he's going to establish him as the ruling power of the earth. All right. It says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved. OK, because there are going to be individuals that are going to be delivered, man. And it's the mindset that we got to have. All right. Forget what this damn devil will think he going to do down here, man. OK, because you can watch all these videos. You know, you can sit down and watch the, the World Economic Forum. You could read Agenda 2020 or Agenda 21. You know, you could read the document Agenda 23rd. You could read Rex 84. The Most High ain't going to allow this nigga to complete his plans, man. The Most High has, uh, uh, you know, he has other plans. Okay. The Most High wanted to go a whole completely different way than what he has proposed in his mind. This damn devil. All right. It says everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. Escape what the hell that's coming. So there are going to be individuals that are going to escape. And we want to be part of that number, man. So we're doing what we have to do to, uh, uh, you know, try to be a part of that number. Like the scriptures say, give diligence to make thy calling and election sure. <clears throat> it says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. And that's the main thing. Okay, you have to believe. That Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has the power to deliver you, man. All right. You got to believe that because if you don't, you're going to succumb to, you know, the carnal, uh, uh, you know, temptation that this devil is going to offer. And you're going you're gonna to bow down to the, the new world order. All right. It says shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation and my land. And within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So the Most High has selected these individuals that are going to be saved all the way from the beginning, man. Before Babylon even came into existence, there was the elect. Okay. Before Esau Edom even had the thought of executing a new world order, there was the elect. And the Most High had already proposed in his mind that these individuals were going to be delivered in the last days. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay. And the victory is already written, man. The Most High is going to destroy America from off the face of the earth. The nation of Israel is going to be delivered and the kingdom of heaven is going to be established down here upon the earth. This is Revelation 19 and 1. It says, and after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, hallelujah. And this is the elect. Okay. The Israelites that have been delivered from the trials and tribulations that's getting ready to take place down here upon the earth. Okay, that great multitude that's going, going to be delivered. It says, after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven, the elect, saying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord, Yahweh, our power. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. The great whore is America. Okay. Esau Edom is not going to go unpunished for doing the things that he's done down here, man. The Most High is going to judge this damn devil. It says, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, its philosophies. It says, and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. So this damn devil is going to pay for all the blood of the nation of Israel that has been shed down here upon the earth. He ain't getting away scot-free. Okay. It says, and again, and they said, it's like it. And again, they said, Alleluia. And her smoke arose up forever and ever because this place is going to get destroyed by the thermonuclear missiles. And that smoke is going to go up for a long time, man. The whole of America is going to be on fire. All right. It's going to take a long time before the smoke dies down and dissipates. It says, And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshiped the Most High that sat on the throne. Saying, Amen, Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our power, all ye his servants, and all ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, that's the elect again, and as the voice of many waters, 
and as the voice of mighty thundering saying hallelujah for the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shai power omnipotent reigneth that word omnipotent means all powerful man there's no entity that exceeds the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so we ain't got nothing to worry about. Okay? This damn devil is not stronger than our power, man. There's nothing he can do to stop the plans of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai from coming to pass. Okay? But our power has all the power in the world to stop this damn devil from doing what he has proposed on doing, man. Establishing his new order down here and exterminating the nation of Israel. The Most High gonna put a stop to that. Verse 7, it says, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife hath made herself ready. And the wife of the lamb is the nation of Israel, the elect. OK, the lamb is Yahweh. That marriage is going to take place when Yahweh comes back with the chariots to deliver the elect. OK, because from that point, the nation of Israel is going to be perpetually joined to Yahweh Yahweh because our bodies are going to be changed. OK. We are going to be become those holy vessels for the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to dwell in perpetually, man. And that's the root of our problems down here. Okay? We're able to do things that will make the presence of the Heavenly Father depart from us. Okay? And we need that connection to live down here, man. If we don't have that connection, this, this is what our life is going to be like. You know? Catching hell under this damn devil and these other nations, man. Not being able to get up out of this situation. Okay, being, uh, uh, you know, riddled with diseases. Okay, and not just, you know, uh, physical ailments, but mental ailments as well, man. Hey, Jake is bugged the fuck out out here, man. Okay, a lot of our people suffer from uh, mental illness, man. Them, them demons be plaguing Jake. Okay, what's the reason why that happens is because the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not in us. So these other spirits can enter into us and affect us, man. All that's going to be done away with in the kingdom. Okay. It says, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife hath made herself ready. Okay. And what happens, uh, you know, once the marriage take place, takes place, what's the marriage, you know, that word marriage, when you look it up, it means uh, to be joined together. Okay. They got a misconception in this society. They think that the marriage is the ceremony. No, the actual act of marriage, the physical act is you having sex with the woman, man. Okay, because what happens after you do that? You put your spirit upon her. That's the same thing that the Most High is going to do unto the nation of Israel. His spirit is going to be put upon us, man, perpetually. Okay, so we're going to be those holy vessels for the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to dwell in. We're going to be the tabernacle down here upon the earth. Where the spirit of the heavenly father dwells Okay, just as the tabernacle in the ancient time You know, the actual tent that uh, the Levites carried around and set up That's where the presence of the heavenly father dwelt in Down here upon the earth We're going to be those tabernacles Okay You can read that in Revelation, the, the 21st chapter It says, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen Clean and white for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints, which that white represents uh, purity, man. Okay, because we're going to be pure after that. Once the Most High changes these bodies, we're going to be 100% perfect. We're never going to go off. Okay, so we're going to be pure. All right, just as, uh, you know, when a woman, all right, this is more so back in the ancient time. Nowadays, this custom has been completely perverted. The reason why a woman wears a white dress you know, when she uh, gets married, that white is supposed to represent purity because you have married virgins back in the ancient time. A woman has not been touched by a man. Once a woman is touched by a man, she's defiled. OK, you, you're supposed to be the one that defiles uh, your virgin, your wife. OK, and she's only supposed to have one man. All right. So the same thing, you know, when it comes to the nation of Israel, we're going to be pure. In the side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Because we're only going to be able to deal with him The Most High is going to cut off access to those other uh, uh, men Alright By doing away with this uh, stony heart that we have And putting in us a heart of flesh It says And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen Clean and white For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints 
which for you to be righteous, you have to keep the ways of the heavenly father. And we're not going to go off in the kingdom. So we're going to be pure. It says, for he saith unto me, right, blessed are they which are called to the marriage supper of the lamb. And he saith unto me, these are the true sayings of the most high. So all these things are going to happen, man. Okay. And there's certain individuals down here on the earth that are going to experience these things. And this is what we're looking forward to. We're looking forward to the mercy of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai being bestowed upon us. Okay. We're looking forward to being accepted to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Okay. We look forward to being joined perpetually to our power, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, getting those new bodies, man. Being holy vessels for the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to dwell in down here upon the earth. To truly be a monument, okay, or to Zion unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Abraham Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom.